Should I buy a pier and beam styled house? Well, the answer is... Hey guys, Brian here with another foundation repair tip of the day. So a question that's been asked a lot to our website is, should I buy a pier and beam styled house? Well, the answer is it's entirely up to you. Uh, one thing that you will want to look for is to make sure that the pier and beam systems are secure to the foundation and to the wood structure. The other thing is to make sure that the wood structure, the actual house, is tied to the footing or stem wall. Uh, you wanna make sure your anchor bolts are in there or uh, Simpson UFP plates. Uh, make sure those are attached because the last thing you want to do is have an earthquake and have that thing be able to slide off that foundation um, during an earthquake. But other than that, you may have some settlement of the interior piers of the pier and beam system um, just because they don't typically have a deep footing. But more often than not, you're not really going to have an issue on the inside unless you have a lot of water coming in for whatever reason. There should not be water underneath your crawl space but heavy rains and or broken pipes will cause that. Um, so, but that's typically going to be the biggest uh, concern for you. And I hope that helps answer that question. Don't feel like you have to walk away from a pier and beam house if you're really in love with it. Everything can be fixed. Just make sure you do your due diligence. Take a look at it. Make sure your inspector looks at it. If you still have questions, feel free to give us a call and we can come out and take a look at it for you. And that is your foundation repair tip of the day.